All Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this online video session on basic thermodynamics. So in the previous session, we have discussed the very important topic that is control volume. And we have studied and we have derived the equation for steady flow energy equation. Now in this session, we are going to study the whatever the equation we have derived that is steady flow energy equation. So how that is applied for different applications. So that we will going to discuss in details about it in today's session. And whatever the topics we are discussing today. So these applications plays in a very important role uh, for your exam point of view. Because in a many uh, examinations, many question paper, the, these questions are asked, the numericals of these topic are asked. So without wasting much time, let us begin with the today's session. So in the previous session, we have already derived the steady flow energy equation. That is H1 plus Zz plus V1 square plus Q. That will be equals to H2 plus Gz2 plus V2 square divided by 2 plus W. That is, it is nothing but sum of kinetic energy, potential energy and internal energy plus the amount of heat interaction with respect to control volume and that will be equals to the internal energy, kinetic energy and potential energy at condition 2 that is at outlet condition and the work interaction with respect to the control surface or control volume. Now this is us, uh, the steady flow energy equation and with respect to this steady flow energy equation, how the different conditions are studied that we are going to discuss. In this session, the first one is in a nozzle. So we all know that nozzle is in a device which uh, increases the velocity of in a fluid or the gas which is passing through it, or the kinetic energy of in a fluid at the expansion of its pressure drop. The steady flow energy equation for in a unit mass of in a gas is given by. We already know this is a general equation, the regular general steady flow energy equation. Now in a case of nozzles the q and the w that is the heat interaction as well as the work interaction are zero in case of in a nozzles so when the change in potential energy is negligible the equation means this steady flow energy equation is reduced to so that is h1 plus v1 square divided by 2 will be equals to h2 plus v2 square divided by 2 so this is a uh, energy steady flow equation when it is applied to the nozzle. Now moving to the next one that is throttling wall. So now what is this throttling wall? When a fluid flows through a constricted or a, the re, uh, constrained passages like a partial open walls, orifice or the porous plugs, there is an uh, appreciable drop in the pressure is observed. So, and the flow is said to be throttled and this condition is said to be throttled. Now, the steady flow energy equation for a unit mass is given by, so that is the general regular steady flow energy equation. Now, in case of throttling wall, the Q and the W, that is heat interaction as well as work interaction are zero, are considered to be a zero. And the change in the potential energy, the change in the potential energy are very much smaller when compared to other energies so it is ignored now the steady flow energy equation the steady flow energy equation after considering these assumptions the steady flow energy equation for throttling wall becomes h1 plus v1 square divided by 2 plus h2 plus v2 square divided by 2 now this is a uh, just a equation that is for a throttling wall so moving to the next one, the turbine. Now turbines and the engines are the positive power outputs. So they use the positive power outputs. Now for turbines, uh, which is well insulated, assuming that which is a well insulated, the flow velocity are often small. Now the steady flow energy equations, we already know that. So that is H1 plus Gz1 plus V1 square plus Q will be equals to h2 plus gz2 plus v2 square divided plus w. So this is a general steady flow energy equation. Now as it is clearly said that it is a well insulated, well insulated means there will be no heat interaction. 
So in case of turbines, the Q will be equals to zero as it is insulated. The change in the potential energy, the change in the potential energy as well as the kinetic energies are negligible in the case of turbines. Therefore, the steady flow energy equation is reduced to H1 will be equals to H2 plus W that is nothing but the, the enthalpy at condition 1 will be equals to enthalpy at condition 2 plus the work interaction. Now moving to the next one that is diffuser. Now what is this actually the diffuser? A diffuser increases the pressure of in a fluid at the expansion of its kinetic energy. The steady flow energy equation for a unit mass of a gas is given by so it's a general uh, equation. Now in case of diffusers the Q will be equals to zero and W will be equals to zero means the heat interaction as well as work interactions are considered to be a zero. Now the change in the potential energy is also negligible thus the steady flow energy equation is reduced to H1 plus V1 square divided by 2 will be equals to H2 plus V2 square divided by 2. Now this is a equation for the diffuser. Now moving to the next one. The next one is in a compressor. Now the turbine condition is different and here the compressor conditions are different. The compressor is in a device which compresses the air or in a gas or a fluid and this compressor requires the power input means there must be a some edit the work is done on the system so that it has to produce some uh, output. Now the steady flow energy equation in the for the unit mass of an uh, system is given by H1 plus Gz1 plus V1 squared by 2 plus Q H2 plus Gz2 plus V2 square by 2 plus W. So this is a general steady flow energy equation. Now in case of the compressor the change in the potential energy as well as the kinetic energies are negligible. Thus the, the main steady flow energy equation is get reduced to H1 minus Q it will be equals to H2 minus W. Now you may have a question that why I have taken a minus sign here because in this condition the work is done on the system. That's why I have taken a negative sign here as well as the Q is means the heat is rejected in the compressor. So I have taken the negative sign in this condition. Now I have said no, so both the uh, negative quantity because heat is transferred from system to surrounding as well as work done on the na, system. That's why I have taken this the Q as well as W in the negative magnitude. Now moving to the next one that is the pump. Now the pump is in a device which takes the any fluid from lower head to higher head means it is a device that is used to supply the fluid from one datum head to another datum head. Now in a pump like the centrifugal pump is a most commonly used pump in many applications. Now considering the, the general steady flow energy equation that is H1 plus Gz1 plus V1 square divided by 2 plus Q will be equals to H2 plus Gz2 plus V2 square divided by 2 plus W. Now in case of pump the Q uh, and the change in the energies are negligible. So then the equation is get reduced to G into Z1 plus V1 square divided by 2 will be equals to uh, GZ2 plus W2 square divided by 2 minus W. Now here again the we have taken the minus so you may have a question that here there is a plus sign and we have taken a negative sign here because the pump is in a device which requires some energy so which requires some work input then it will supply the water means there is a supply of energy so here the work is done on the system that's why we have considered it as a negative signature so the work is done on the system so here the negative symbol is taken. Now hope dear students, so the whatever the applications what we have discussed in the today's session, 
plays very important role in this particular model while solving the numericals that is especially while solving the first law uh, uh, numericals on a uh, open system and even in many examination uh, the question is asked uh, write the study flow energy equation or derive the study flow energy equation for the following condition write the study flow energy equation for the following condition they will give and they will give some of the names like pump centrifuge uh, pump compressor throttling wall nozzle diffuser so you have to explain it in a two lines and try to write the equation along with a neat sketch so that will carry the two two marks so the, this uh, application is very very much important as i said while solving the numericals as well as for your theory questions also in the examination so still if you are finding any difficulties in understanding these uh, derivation you can download my notes from the blog and also uh, you can watch the video repeatedly so that you can get to know what is there in the equation because i have used animated uh, concepts so that it will be very much clear to you people so uh, keep watching our channel subscribe to uh, our channel and share the link to your friends and also you can follow us on the linkedin as well as uh, on instagram and facebook click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy